These really are, it smells like absolute, it was expensive, but was it worth it? This video has really made me realise I bought way too much stuff last year. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and keeping well, and I hope you're ready for today's video. Now, this video is all over YouTube at the moment. I am definitely copying people by filming it, but I feel like it's really fun. And what it's going to be, it's going to be a best and worst purchases of 2022. And being a shopaholic, if you guys know me you know I am the biggest shopaholic I bought a lot in the last year so therefore I have quite a few things to review all that being said if I'm going to spend a lot of money on something I always think about it long and hard so I don't have as many bad purchases as I have good purchases which is kind of a good thing but of course some of the things I buy don't really turn out to be as great as I thought they were gonna be so over here I have a pile of all of my worst purchases and over here I have a pile of all of my best purchases now we're going to start with the best purchase just first because as I've already said there are more of them so my first best purchase of 2022 is this little baby here this is my Chanel mini flap in lambskin with champagne gold hardware now a lot of people think this is just like a regular Chanel bag it kind of is but this is so hard to get hold of you might have watched my unboxing video for this I did one on YouTube I also did it over on TikTok as well but this size Chanel bag in this color which is black honestly is like gold dust. I went on a waiting list for it and I was so lucky to get hold of one. Now the reason this was such a great purchase is it's not left my side since I got it. I think I got it back in July. It's just the perfect bag for every day. For me it's the perfect size. If it's everything you need you can pop in your phone, your keys, a lipstick, like a couple of other bits. It's not annoyingly big and it's not annoyingly small like it's perfect. I love that you can dress it down and you can dress it up and I know you can do that with all of the classic Chanel bags that's the great thing about the style however I just feel like this really is the best size one thing I was concerned about this bag when I got it is the fact that it is lambskin and lambskin is so prone to scratching however after many uses both on nights out I actually wore this for a festival as well in the summer it looks like new there's basically no sign of wear and it's perfect condition another great thing about the Chanel mini flap is its price now this is around three and a half thousand pounds maybe a little bit more now since the price increase but the size up from this is obviously a small classic flap and then you've got a medium one as well now the price of the small is seven thousand pounds now which is just blooming insane and this bag fits just as much yes it is slightly smaller and you also can't double up the strap but given the price difference i think the minis are such a great buy now on to my first worst purchase of 2022 i kind of feel guilty saying anything bad about these things but like i need to be honest some of these things were not great buys now now I can't lie, TikTok influenced me to buy these headphones. These are the, are they called AirPod Max from Apple? They're like the big oversized headphones. I'll pop them on just to show you how they look. I can't even hear myself speak. Well, I can, but it feels so weird. But so far for me, these have been a terrible buy. I mean, they look cool, especially like in Instagram content. That's so sad. But like day to day, I hate wearing them. I hate being unaware of my surroundings. And if you're walking down the road and you have these on, you cannot hear anything, which I guess is good if you are listening to your music and you don't care about being unaware about your surroundings. But for me, it just makes me feel so odd and I hate the feeling of them. Another thing that really annoys me about them and I don't know how people wear them and don't get makeup all over like the padded bit because when you pop them on your ears they obviously sit like slightly forward and therefore if you wear foundation like I do it gets all over this bit and it just looks like really gross so if any of you have a tip about how to wear them without getting makeup on them then let me know I guess the answer probably would be not to wear any makeup but like it's not gonna happen. I guess if you're just like sat in one place on your laptop or like on a plane journey or on a train or something like that where you're not walking around, I think they'd be great because the sound quality is unbelievable. However, like day-to-day -day life, walking around with them on, I just don't really love them. And also given the price, I feel like buying a pair of AirPods, like the regular little AirPods, very discreet, are a much better option. Like, that's just my opinion. My next best purchase would have to be my Hermes Orans. I bought my first pair, I think, back in around May kind of time. I can't remember what colour I got first. It might have been the tan or was it the black? I can't remember. But all I know is once I got one pair, I went back and bought them 
in i want to say every color but there's loads of colors so i bought them in like the three main colors white tan and black and honestly they have been such a great investment i have been very lucky to have gone on a few holidays over the last year and they have come on every single trip and they are the only sandal i've worn whether it's like to dress up and look nice or to go to the beach they're so comfy they're so timeless i feel like they're worth every single penny and my mission for this year is just to get more colors because i just think they're such a great sandal and they really do go with every Everything. So if you're debating getting a pair of these, do it. I feel like you will never look back. Sticking with good purchases, my next best purchase was this. But I can't lie, I did not purchase it for myself. It was a gift from my boyfriend for my birthday. And this is my Van Cleef and Arpels 5 Motif Bracelet in Onyx. Now if you watch my videos, you know I wear this bracelet every single day. He actually originally got me the Mother of Pearl, but I took it back only because i just love the black and how it goes with 90 percent of my outfits if you follow me on instagram you know basically all of my outfits are black and i just also love like how statement it is on your wrist as well another reason i love the onyx is the sa in van cleef told me is the hardest wearing stone that van cleef do because a lot of their stones you can't wear every day well you can wear them every day but you need to take them off when you're putting perfume on when you're showering when you're in the swimming pool etc etc and they get damaged really easy the onyx is meant to be super hard wearing and i've had it since april and honestly i've been in the swimming pool i've been in the shower i I mean they do advise you not to do those things but i'm someone that hates taking their jewelry off so this has pretty much been on me ever since it looks perfect and i know i didn't purchase it myself but it needed to go in my best purchases video because honestly the joy this bracelet gives me every single day i know that sounds so sad you guys know how much i love jewelry and every single time i look at my wrist i just love it i adore it i think it is an absolute brilliant buy and now for another worst and it is this this is a perfume from by rido this is in the scent Belle de Freak. Guys, this perfume, it smells lovely. Like, it smells so nice in the bottle. However, you spray this on yourself and it will last 3.5 seconds. Like, the scent is gone. Considering the price of this, like, I would want this to last on my clothes until next year. You know, like some perfumes you spray on yourself and you can get like a coat out of the wardrobe that you haven't worn for such a long time, but you could still smell the perfume. That's what I want out of an expensive perfume and this is not giving that. I was literally so disappointed when I got it. Like, I love the smell but it just doesn't last. I have had people say to me that the reason I can't smell it is because it suits me. But then I asked them if they can smell it and they also can't smell it, so I think that's a complete lie. I did also post on my Instagram story that I was really annoyed about the fact that it doesn't last and so many people messaged me to say that they have a perfume from this brand and it doesn't last either. However, I'm going to claw it back a little bit for a Byredo because my friend, Abby, she tried a perfume, I think it's called De Los Santos. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's also from Byredo. It's one of their newer fragrances she tried it a while back she said freya you need to try this perfume i went into space nk i tried it and i was sold and apparently they've like adapted something so it lasts and i know it lasts because i bought the whole bottle i have worn it many times since and i've been told on many occasions that i smell really nice well done by rudo for changing whatever it is in your perfumes that you needed to change but i'm still annoyed i have this whole bottle of perfume that smells like nothing this next thing i have to show you quite possibly could be my best best purchase of 2022 and it comes in this little pot right here this is a skin and me daily doser it's skincare you guys might have seen me speak about it before in my vlogs it's incredible like i started using this i wouldn't say back in may and it has transformed my skin i have had bad skin pretty much all of my adult life you know like breakouts hormonal acne like it's just not been the best ride for me skin wise and i tried this because one of my friends recommended it i was a little bit apprehensive if it would even work my skincare routine went from being so many different products to literally cleanser this and then a moisturizer and that is it but within a month i had seen such amazing results and the results have just got better and better by the way i do work with skin and me but i am a paying customer i pay the monthly subscription every single month and i get my daily dose through the post and i actually said on instagram earlier this week if they were to double the monthly subscription fee i think it's about 25 pounds but even if they doubled it i would still pay it i mean hopefully they don't but i would still pay it because honestly the difference this has made to my skin has been life-changing it sounds dramatic but if you've ever had bad skin before you know how much it really affects your life and this has given me the best skin i could have wished for now this bad purchase might shock you a little bit because i've just praised something that is exactly the same but in a different 
different colour. Guys, I am sorry. I bought this pink Chanel mini flap. I think it was like March or April. No, it was March. It was just before I went to Dubai last year, March time. I have taken this to Dubai. I took it to Jamaica. I took it to Cos. I also took it to Dubai just now. Well, actually, I've worn it once. I've worn it one time. I wrote one time on that first Dubai trip. And other than that, I've never worn it again. The plastic is still on the Chanel CC at the front. Like, I love the Chanel Mini. I've just raved about it in black. I would have it in so many different colours, but I think the problem is with this is it just is not the right pink shade. It's almost like a corally pink. It's really lovely. It almost is looking very neon on camera, but it, it just doesn't go with anything. I don't know. You guys know I wear so many neutrals anyway, so it doesn't really fit into my wardrobe. But I felt like when I went on holidays and was in more, like, colourful clothing and things like that, or even, like, an all-white outfit with a pink bag, I thought it could look kind of nice, but it's just the wrong pink. It's almost like a dirty pink. I don't know. I love it, but I also kind of hate it. And the fact I haven't worn it in almost a year is a really bad thing. I am tempted to sell it. I don't know. Will I regret it if I sold it? Maybe like I will wear it at some point, but I've never owned a bag that I haven't worn for that amount of time. Usually within a few days of buying it, I'm wearing it. But this... This was a very bad buy. Now, when I first bought this top, I remember saying to myself, 250 pounds for a vest top. Absolutely not like, what on earth is going on? However, cost per wear for this vest top has ended up being like one pound. I have worn it, well, not 250 times, but I've worn it a lot. Like really, I have worn it a lot. You've seen it in so many videos. I actually have had to stop myself from wearing it sometimes in videos because I feel like I've really overdone it, but I love it. I know I'm just being very like materialistic because let's face it, it is a really, kind of bad quality white vest top. I just love it for the Loewe anagram. That is the only reason I like it, but it looks so great on. I love it underneath like cardigans. I've worn it on every single holiday I've been on this year. And it was just, it was just a great buy. I think it elevates any look. And really now I feel like it was worth every penny. I loved it so much that just before my last holiday, I went and purchased it in black. I actually do prefer the white. It goes with more, but the black is a little bit more flattering because the white's a little bit see-through and like sometimes it doesn't really look that great when you've got your bra on underneath. So the black's more flattering, but yeah, I mean, I moaned about spending that amount on a vest top. I still think it's ridiculous. However, the amount I've worn them, they've been worth every single penny. My next worth purchase are you ready it is this right here this is a Remoa suitcase guys I wanted this for blooming years I didn't want to buy it because the price of these things for a suitcase is really ridiculous but I thought to myself hand luggage is something that I can kind of look after it doesn't get chucked in the hold where let's face it I had a suitcase this year that got chucked in the hold and it came back damaged on its first ever trip airlines are just very rough with our suitcases but this would come on board with me and I would fully look after it now why was it a bad purchase I hear you ask well there's a few reasons we'll start off first of all with the good things about it guys the way this thing rolls is incredible it's so smooth like look at it go it just feels so great when you're wheeling it through the airport and it's very robust they're the things that are just so fantastic about it. But I mean, I would hope it would really roll smoothly given the price of it. Now the things that I don't rate about it. First thing has to be the weight. Guys, this weighs an absolute ton. It's the reason I haven't also bought the bigger one. Yeah, I've just said they get ruined on the aircraft. But the main reason I haven't bought it is because they are so heavy. Like, I think they're like 7 kg. And if you're flying with EasyJet, I think they only let you have like 23 kilograms. And if your suitcase, I think they even weigh like 8 kilograms. If your suitcase is weighing like 8 to 10 kilograms, there is no room for clothes. You can barely take anything with you. So I just prefer to get one like the light suitcases and you can fill it to the brim with all of your stuff. So that's the reason I didn't get the big one. Now, when I flew on EasyJet and BA with this, there was no issues. Like, I didn't get it weighed when I took it on as hand luggage it was fine when I flew with the Emirates to Dubai they weighed it and they said it was overweight all that was inside it was a couple of pairs of shoes like I'm talking really light heels some handbags like let's say like three Chanel bags which were all empty like there was basically nothing in it and it was overweight luckily my boyfriend barely took anything on his hand luggage so the fact that he had nothing kind of counteracted the fact that this was so overweight but it's just not practical like it just weighs too much and when you're trying to get it on board unless you're traveling in first class or business class which hopefully one day we all will be they are just really fussy with it and I hate that anxiety 
anxiety of then thinking, am I going to have to unpack it? Like, what am I going to do with the things that are in it to make it lighter? Like, you just don't need that. The next thing that's not great about it is the fact that it gets so scratched. I know they're kind of meant to look kind of bashed and worn, but something about me is I love to look after my things. I don't want them to look scratched and worn. And this really does. Honestly, it's all like scratched at the side. It's even got this like weird green thing on here as well. It's not dented yet, thank God. But that's obviously because it doesn't go in the hold. It's only been used like three times like it shouldn't it shouldn't be that scratched and then the last reason i don't love it is the way it closes now it all feels really great quality so it should but there's no room for like any extras inside for example you know like if you've got a suitcase with a zip you can kind of stretch the zip a bit like if you've got a lot of stuff in your suitcase it will give a little bit this has no give like nothing at all you can't be squeezing anything extra inside and if there's a little tiny bit of material kind of hanging out the side here like imagine you've got i don't know a shoelace or just a tiny bit of your t-shirt hanging out it will not close like you cannot get it to close which is probably a good thing then you've got nothing hanging out your suitcase but as someone who is a huge overpacker it's just such a bad suitcase for me and i don't regret buying it because it's a smooth roller and i love the way it looks but i don't think they're worth the price a fantastic purchase has to be this this is the new face mini from current body i have used this like the skin me dosa in countless vlogs it's absolutely brilliant what this is it's a microcurrent device that i use morning and nighttime. it glides up and down your face and it basically just contours and lifts your face and i really do believe if you use this consistently it gives the most amazing results i absolutely swear by it i feel like it's really therapeutic as well using it every day but i also really can see the lift in my face the lift in my eye eyebrows when I use it. It's so tiny but it's so great. It travels everywhere with me and I honestly think it's worth every single penny. I also have actually worked with Current Body on this device just for transparency but I only ever work with brands that I really love and use and this device in my opinion is blooming great. A bad purchase and something I'm very upset about guys. I only bought these in December. I have worn them one time and I'm already saying that they were a bad purchase and they were these. These are the new season Chanel trainers why were they a bad purchase maybe not so much like chanel's fault but more just white trainers in general are just they're just not a good buy for me because you can't keep them clean now i am very careful with myself like i say all of the time i wore these when i was traveling i don't really feel like this is my fault but i wore them with a pair of black socks maybe slightly weird given the fact that like the top of them are white and the black socks this is probably more of the fault of the cheap black socks than the trainer but it's very annoying have kind of stained the top of the trainer can you see it just there like they're all stained inside there and every time i look at them all i can see is the black stains all over them now when i got my first pair of chanel trainers they were in black actually no my first ever pair of chanel trainers were in nude i didn't actually wear them many times and i sold them but my black ones the reason i got them in black is because i wear fake tan and you know like black is just something that hides all of the dirt and all the rest of it white however it shows everything and so i really should have thought about it more when i bought these but i wasn't really expecting them to get as marked as they have done in such a short space of time but there is one thing about these shoes which i do think are fully chanel's fault they're so uncomfortable usually all of my chanel trainers have been the comfiest trainers ever like they're renowned for being so comfy my black ones are like slippers i love them these i don't know what they've done to the sole but they are so uncomfortable they hurt my heel and when i wore them on the flight i could not wait to get them off of my feet like they're just they don't rub they're just like a weird kind of cushion on the base of your foot which is just such a shame especially because chanel have put the prices up on everything but their trainers guys go on their website and see how much these trainers were i didn't actually know how much they were i ordered them through my sa she sent me a payment link and i was like what but by then i felt like too embarrassed to go back on myself but these used to be like 250 pounds cheaper than they are now like chanel sort out the soles of your trainers because they are so uncomfortable okay we're on to the last few things i don't know how long this video is going to be but the next thing which was a brilliant purchase i didn't actually get it that long ago i've worn it quite a few times since though and it is just such a nice thing to wear it is this this is my hermes kelly belt in black leather with gold hardware this is something else that is so hard to get hold of i tried to get it in paris i've tried to get it in london so many times i went on a waiting list didn't really think i'd have much luck but hermes came through and got me the belt and honestly it's such 
a brilliant piece to have in my wardrobe. It kind of elevates any look. I wore it so much when I was in Dubai. Another thing that I really love about it as well, compared to like most belts, is the fact that it hasn't got holes. So the thing is with belts with holes is like they're great for like your waist or they're great for like, I don't know, your hips, but you can't really wear them on both. Like my YSL belt, for example, it hasn't got enough holes for me to wear it like here because it's too big. But around my waist, it fits perfectly. Does this make any sense? Where with the Kelly belt, it's basically like one size fits all because you can just adjust it by the back. So you can wear this on your hips, you can wear this on your waist, you could wear it around your head if that's what you want to do. And I just think that's a really great thing about it. So if you're like, even if you lose some weight or gain some weight, it's always going to fit. All I need now is the Birkin to go with it. I know technically this this is a Kelly belt to match a Kelly, but this little twiddly thing is the same on an Hermes Birkin. And how nice will it look? Paired with a black Hermes Birkin, it's gonna happen. My last worst purchase, I feel really guilty about this, but guys, it has to be the Celine loafers. I have worn these a lot on Instagram, but in real life, they have not been worn barely at all. I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, they, they really haven't. They rub like an absolute Every single time I wear them, they give me a blister. And the blister's not like a tiny blister, it's a big blister. And you only need to wear them for five minutes. Like, I've worn these shooting content. And it takes me about 10 minutes to shoot an outfit. So I've had these on for 10 minutes and they've given me blisters. I know people are going to say like you need to break them in. But how can you break in a pair of shoes that are literally breaking you? I don't know how to do it. They are so painful. They look beautiful though. Like I still love them. I still absolutely adore them in general. But the rubbing, like I can't cope with them. Another thing about them is the weight. They are so so heavy like you wouldn't even believe the weight of these shoes i do kind of like that though at the same time because they feel really like weighty and expensive you know like sometimes if something feels too light it suddenly feels cheap these definitely don't feel cheap but they are like carrying weights on your feet so not only do they rub they're also extremely heavy and i feel really sad for saying bad things about them because they really are a beautiful shoe but honestly the blisters they're just not worth it we're on to my last two best purchases and the next one is this this is the Lou Louis Vuitton, I said that really strange, the Louis Vuitton vanity travel case. I don't really think it's called that. It's called the Nice, I think it's called that. And I got this back in the summer and I was really scared to use it because it's beautiful. And you know when you put all of your like kind of greasy, uh, not greasy, but you know like oily products inside, I was really worried it was gonna get ruined. It took me a while to kind of bite the bullet and start using it. But once you've kind of used something a couple of times, you feel so much better about it. And so far, touch wood, touch wood, it is in great condition. It hasn't marked at all. It wipes clean super easily. But guys, this is the best travel toiletries bag, whatever you want to call it, I have ever had in my life. That sounds like such a big exaggeration, but it's so good. It fits so much stuff in it. And what I love about it is because the lid of it is like quite hollow, unless you put things in this little compartment here, you can put products like right the way up to the top and then it kind of goes over and then zips around it if that makes sense you can fill this to the brim it fits loads in it and it also looks stunning what a beautiful piece to have on the side of your bathroom sink i mean i never actually leave it there it goes up on a shelf because even though it was the best travel toiletries case of all time all of my other ones have been from primark no shade to primark because they are great but i am glad it's a lot better than those otherwise this would have been in my worst purchases but no it is absolutely great it was worth every single penny and i think cost per use out of this is going to to be so so minimal because whenever I travel I'm going to be using it and it's just such a lovely thing to have but this really was a great purchase and I'm so happy I got it and my last best purchase of 2022 has to be this this is a face moisturizer. It's from a brand called Quarterly. This is called their Premier Cru La Creme. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. Basically, it's a moisturizer. You can use it daytime, you can use it in the evenings, and it is just incredible i have already spoken about my skin i have very very temperamental skin whether i'm using toners moisturizers cleansers i can break out from anything so finding a moisturizer that works for me is rare and it's also really hard but this this is so good it's thick but not like too thick on your skin it gives you exactly the amount of hydration that you need it's so good underneath makeup and I just cannot rave about it enough. In fact, I love so many products from Cordelie, but this really has to be my favourite thing ever. It's such a brilliant product, and I give it 100 out of 10. 
like it's so good. I have been talking like a motor mouth for I don't even know how long. I feel like I haven't even come up for air. But that is the end of my best and worst purchases of 2022. I hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe I've helped you make a decision on whether you're going to buy something or not going to buy something. As always, everything featured will be linked down below so you can easily go and shop it all from there. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I shall hopefully see you in my next one. Take care of yourselves guys. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye!